Praise the Lord. Let's just bow our heads as we have prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege we have to be in your presence tonight. I ask that you'd forgive us, forgive me of my sins, and grant me tonight a fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, the truth is we are uh, one week closer to the soon coming of Jesus. We are about to experience the greatest event in all of history. We pray for now that you will awaken a sense of urgency in our lives, in our hearts. And help tonight that as we interface with you, as we listen to your word, we will vow to, uh, to follow you as you beckon us. We thank you for blessing us with the presence of the Holy Spirit, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Please be seated. So tonight's message, when God, when God speaks. Uh, I think you know these two personalities, isn't that so? Uh, can you help me with them, please? On the one hand, we have, yes, King, King Kim Jong-Yoo, and then we have the famous... Uh, we have the famous uh, Mr. So I'm saying famous uh, Mr. Donald Trump, and of course, my brothers and sisters. If you were following the news, you would you will agree with me that there has been a war of words between these two gentlemen. Isn't that so? Yeah. Yes, and so they have been speaking, and of course, these uh, those utterances they have potential for deadly consequences am i talking to you oh yes and uh, and it seems to me that they are warmongering in their speech uh, and so as we look at uh, the message tonight when god speaks even though the united states is the leading country in the world and the world is influenced by what its leader says, there is another leader who speaks. You didn't hear what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is another leader who speaks. Isn't that so? Oh, yes. And uh, But before we look at what happens when, uh, when God speaks, I want to say to you tonight that it is not simply when he speaks. Isn't that so? It is not, help me read please, it is not simply when God speaks, it is also, help me please, it is how or through what means he uses as he speaks. Yes, my brothers and sisters, and so I'm saying to you at this time in our world of what I like to call moral imbatunity. At uh, this time when there is so much of confusion in the religious realm, I want to say to you that there is a show voice uh, that, that speaks from the throne of the universe. Oh yes. And so tonight we want to look at how God speaks. How God speaks. Uh, first of all, we are saying that God speaks how? God speaks through? Nature. Yes, uh, God speaks through nature. and uh, But God speaking to us through nature is known as what? Uh, is known as, as general revelation. When, we, when you pass through, I was in Connecticut with a famous uh, rose garden. And I'm thinking that it is about, it is probably... Uh, it is a probably about two blocks large, that famous road, rose garden. Whenever we, we, uh, we traverse into nature and we see uh, the beautiful flowers, we, uh, God speaks to us being a God of beauty. Am I talking truth? Yes. When we look at the animals in nature, when we look at the beautiful sunset, we know that God is speaking. It's not so, brother prince. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. So God speaks to us 
through nature. This is known as general revelation. However, because of the presence of sin, help me read that please. Let's go. Because of the presence of sin, God's voice is what? God's voice is muted or blurred. And what do we mean by this? Because you see, the same rainfall that precipitates the, uh, the showing of the rainbow. This same rainfall, while it is good on the, the other hand, uh, uh, it affects us negatively. Isn't that so? Uh, the same water that quenches our thirst uh, sweeps away lies uh, in terrible floods. Am I talking to you? Yes. I am saying to you, my brothers and sisters, that while nature speaks to us about God, a nature exists in our realm in the, the, a fallen, a sinful situation. Is not so? Oh, yes. And so, uh, for nature presents not only, help me please, not only the beauty, it presents not only beauty and tenderness um, but uh, nature does what nature presents what uh, nature also uh, presents suffering and cruelty so we can say tonight that even though nature speaks nature is inadequate in, um, in being the vehicle through which God speaks it's not so all oh, praise of the name of the Lord and so God is speaking to us through, uh, we said that is known as general revelation. And so God goes to uh, another level. God goes to another level. God speaks to us through what? Through special revelation. Both, help me please. Both what? Both written and incarnate. And so we thank God for the University of Barataria. It's not so. Oh, uh, and this is one of the courses that I, uh, that I've taught at USC in God and human life. Oh, praise God. Yes, so God speaks to us through special revelation and we have the written word. It's not so. We have the written word and uh, we also have uh, the living word. And the living word is, uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, you can say amen. amen. And so Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 and 2. Help me read please together. Wow. Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 and 2. God who at sundry or, uh, or different times and in uh, different diverse or different manners. Did what? Spake in time past unto the fathers by the, uh, by the prophets. And so it is alluding there. To the Old Testament scriptures. Oh yes. And what does the Bible say also? Have in these last days. Spoken. Help me read please. Spoken unto us by his. Uh, yes. And so uh, when I was a child. I was taught that. Uh, the, the, the written word. Became the living word. And the living word. Is Jesus Christ. Isn't that so? Who me had a appointed heir of help me please all things by whom also he made the words hallelujah and so God speaks through nature uh, but nature nature uh, does not adequately reveal who God really is am I talking truth uh, because the same sunshine uh, that is necessary for us to have our daily doses of vitamin D. This same sunshine causes bushfires. Am I talking to you? And so God speaks to us through, through the word. And he speaks to us through his son Jesus Christ. Amen. And that is why John chapter 1. John and I encourage you when you come out on a nightly basis. I encourage you to take some notes. Isn't that so? So number one, that's going to keep you awake, amen, and it's going to remind you of that which we would have spoken. Oh yes, in the beginning, everybody's reading, two, three, in the, uh-huh, was the word and the, 
and the word was with God and the word was God. Amen. The same was in the beginning with God. And so we're talking to the subject tonight. When God speaks, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. So it's talking about Jesus. It's not so. Oh yes, he was a prophet, but he's more than a prophet. Uh, it's not so. Uh, he is a healer, but he's more than a healer. It's not so. Uh, he is the redeemer, but he is more than the redeemer. I am saying that he is sustainer, but he is more than the sustainer. He is the creator. And you can read that also in uh, Colossians 1.16. Yeah. If you're taking notes, you can read that in Colossians 1.16. And so John 1.14 continues and says what? And the word, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld, help me read please. We beheld his the glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the, of the Father, full of grace and truth. And so God is transcendent. Uh, God is beyond us. It's not so. Uh, but in Jesus, we have this God who is eminent. This God who comes close. This God who is known as Emmanuel, God with us. Someone is saying amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And so the written word is called, so the written word, help me read, please. Uh, the written word is called the what? The scriptures uh, or the what? Or oh, the word of God says Matthew 21, 42 and Luke 8. 21 and so Matthew uh, 21 42 what does it say everybody's reading on the count of three two three did he never read in the what so the Bible is called the what the Bible is called the so God speaks to us through the scriptures it's not so my brothers and sisters Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And Luke 8, 21 says, and he did what? And he answered and said unto them, my mother and my brethren are these which what? Which hear the word of God. And what does the Bible say? They don't only hear the word, but the Bible says that they do what the word says. It's not so. I want to say to you in this time of confusion, I'm thankful that there is a sure compass uh, that guides us um, amidst the labyrinth of life's confusion. And it is the word of a Lord. Somebody sing amen. Hebrews 4.12 says that the, the word of a Lord is quick and it is powerful and it is sharper than any to and so there is power not only in the blood but there is power in the word of the Lord somebody saying amen amen and uh, the Bible would have us understand that there, uh, there is a way that seems right Hebrew uh, uh, Proverbs 4.12 there is a way that seems right. Seems right. Huh? And so, uh, 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 people believe that as far as salvation is concerned, it is based on what you think and what I think. I'm saying to you, it matters not what we think. Am I making sense? It matters not what your pastor thinks. It matters not what the priest thinks. It matters not what your four parents thinks. It, it does not matter what I say. It is what Jesus says in the word. Amen. Somebody saying amen. amen. 
Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And so, my brothers and sisters, I'm here tonight to just remind you. I'm here tonight to remind us that the main focus of all of scripture, help me please. The main focus of all of scripture is not Moses. It's not Abraham. It's not Paul. Ah, the main focus of all of scriptures is Jesus. Amen. Am I talking to you, my brothers and sisters? And so Jesus uh, tells us in these end times. Uh, uh, he tells us in these end times to do what? Search the scriptures. For in them he think he have what? Eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Someone is saying amen. I am thankful so whether, ah, whether you are tall like Pastor Lo, or you are concentrated like me. Notice I didn't say short. I said concentrated. Amen. Uh, we have to search the scriptures. Am I talking to you? Uh, whether you are of Eastern descent or you are African descent or you are just a Kalalua. I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, the Lord says that we must search the scriptures. Amen. Whether you have a lot of material possessions or you are one of those simple folks like myself, uh, Jesus says that we must search the scriptures. And as we search the scriptures, we discover who God is. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Ah. Uh -huh. And so the demands of, uh, let's read together. Yes. The demands of revealing himself, meaning Jesus, was so great that, uh, that 66 books of the Bible were written by at least 39 orders over a period of 1,000. And depending on who you talk with, some say 1600 years, but that's a long time, huh? And so, uh, so Moses came along and, and, uh, and he began writing Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. And by the time he was finished, uh, writing inclusive of the book of Job. And by the way, the book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible. And so by the time Moses was finished uh, uh, writing, uh, uh, he expired. And so someone else had to come on the scene. Uh, are we still there, my brothers and sisters? And, uh, so uh, we have uh, Moses uh, who would have written the, the first uh, five books. Uh, you had Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, uh, Deuteronomy, uh, Joshua. And uh, then we have uh, uh, the, 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 the historical aspects. Uh, and by the time uh, uh, Samuel and all of the others, first and second Samuel, first and second king, by the time they came around, ah, Jesus is so multifaceted. Ah, Jesus is so great and grand. Ah, the Bible says that it took over. 39 individuals to write uh, about him. Yes, uh, and so you have uh, uh, you have a legislator uh, like Moses writing about him. Am I making sense? Uh, you have uh, you have a king songwriter like David writing about him. Uh, are we still there my brothers and sisters? Ah, you, you have uh, an exile in the, in the person of, uh, of, uh, of Daniel writing about him. Uh, you have a, a exilic, uh, uh, prophet like Ezekiel writing about him. Ah, you come down to the, uh, New Testament. Ah, uh, you have tax collectors writing about him. Ah, we still have. You have God is no respecter of persons. You see, uh, God, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Someone is saying amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. 
I have a cuss word like uh, Peter writing about him. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, you are the son of sons of thunder. Right, uh, James and John writing about him. Ah, uh, but praise the name of the Lord. Uh, you have someone who was banished on an isle called Patmos writing about him. Ah, uh, the revelator. Am I talking to you? You have uh, uh, you have someone who persecuted the church. Uh, hello, my brothers and sisters. Writing uh, about him. We are talking about Paul. Writing about Jesus. Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. And so uh, we should therefore conclude that God took ordinary men and transformed them into extraordinary representatives uh, for the king of kings and lord of lords somebody saying amen oh praise the name of the lord i'm saying to you that uh, hebrews 8 uh, 13 tells me that he is still jesus ah uh, the same yesterday jesus the same today and jesus the same forever what jesus has done for others i'm saying that jesus if he could have used them Jesus can use you. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. So what kind of men wrote the Bible? I, I heard people tell me that white men wrote the Bible. Have you heard that? They said that the Bible is a white man's book and I don't have time to study the white man's book. But it depends on who, uh, who's, whose history you're reading. Hello, my, my brothers and sisters, when, uh, when the Bible was written, I'm saying to you that, don't, don't pull on my volume now. Don't pull, let me make, make some noise for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Normally, I, I preach for five weeks, amen? Yeah. And it's just, this just going to be for one week. Am I making sense? Yeah. Praise the name of, uh, praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, folks, tell me that, uh, Pastor Lord, but tell me that the Bible was written by a white man. Uh, but do you know that when the Bible was being written, those white folks, no disrespect, intended when Africa was an advanced uh, 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 society? Hello? When India was way out front, the folks in those areas were, were in caves. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? Are you all hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. So what kind of a man wrote the Bible knowing this? First, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Uh, but what does the Bible say? For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Amen. But um, Moses was a murderer. Am I making sense? But the Lord met him at the burning bush and transformed his life. Hey, oh, hello, y'all. And when Moses was in the back side of median of media thinking that his life was all over. Ah, when uh, he believed uh, uh, that he was relegated uh, uh, to, the, to the back pages of history, Jesus one day uh, unexpectedly turned up. Am I making sense? And turned his life around. And uh, so this uh, murderer, fugitive, uh, became the most prolific writer of uh, the word of God in the Old Testament. Yes, 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 yes. Hello, my brothers and sisters. What kind of men? Holy men of God speak as they were moved by uh, the Holy Ghost. Someone is saying amen. Oh, and I'm saying that the same uh, God who, uh, who took ordinary men and made them extraordinary, took ordinary women and made them extraordinary it's the same God today uh, who wants to do extraordinary things in our lives somebody saying amen. amen and so they were not on their own the next point I'm making tonight is that they were not on their own in writing the scriptures and one of the amazing things about the Bible is that the Bible does not contradict itself Am I making sense? And so uh, Isaiah, uh, is it 1028, says that it should be what? Line 
upon line. It should be what, what, how, how do we study? It should be precept upon precept. It should be how? It should be here a little, there a little. It's not so. So you, uh, the Bible, in other words, explains itself. Am I making sense? So if you have a problem in Matthew, you go elsewhere and it's going to be cleared up. Ah, oh, hallelujah. And so I'm saying tonight that they were not on their own as they wrote the scriptures. Ah, but they were superintended by the Holy Ghost. It's not so. The same Holy Ghost that moved upon the waters in Genesis chapter 1 moved upon the minds of these men and women who consecrated themselves to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Timothy 3, 16 and 17. What does the Bible say? Some people tell me that they are Old Testament, uh, they are New Testament Christians. Hello. The Bible says all, all scripture. Somebody sing amen. All scripture is given by what? Inspiration of God. It means that it is God breathe. Ah, yes. So, uh, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So, what does that mean? Uh, it means uh, that uh, that God didn't operate on their words, but God operated on their minds. And so, and so, you would you would have the uh, the personality and the background of each of these writers coming out as he or she uh, uh, wrote the scriptures. It's not so. Uh, be, 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 because uh, David was a shepherd. We hear him say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Am I making sense? Uh, be, be, because uh, Saul was a scholar. Uh, we have uh, him bring to bear. As a matter of fact, if he were alive today, he would have had several PhD degrees. So what, so what do we understand, therefore, my brothers and sisters, that, that uh, inspiration means that the Holy Spirit guides the mind. Hello? Yes. And now, there is a difference between uh, be between errors, between falsehood and errors. Right. Am, am, am I making sense? So the Bible does not present uh, falsehood at all. No, no. Am I making sense? Yes. And, uh, uh, but you may have a situation, for instance, um, where, where a comma is in the wrong place. Right. Yes. Yes. Am I making sense? Yes. Like in that text in Luke with, with law, where, where it says... Today I say unto you, you shall be with me in paradise. It has to do with, with, with punctuation. Are we still there, my brothers and sisters? But the, uh, but the Bible is true. It's truth. John 17, 17. What does the Bible say? Sanctify them through thy truth. Why? Because thy, because thy word is true. So who it is that speaks to us through the Bible? Ah. Huh? Uh, who so it is the Holy Spirit so is it clear to you tonight that the main focus of the Bible is Jesus Amen. am I wrong you? so you have the Old Testament saying that he's coming is not so and the New Testament says that he came am I making sense uh, so the, the, the Old Testament predicts and the New Testament celebrates hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Ah, uh, yes. And so, who is it, therefore, that speaks to us through the Bible? Uh, I want to say to you tonight, let's read that together, two, three. Very often, the character of an individual, it should be, is revealed at times of crisis. Well, hello, 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 ladies. The man could say how much he loves you. Am I making sense? But when your health is failing, then is when the love is tested. Um, am, I, am I talking to you? Right. Brothers, the sister could say how much she loves you. But when you lose your job and you come home and there's no money, you will know whether there is still love. Are we still there? So character is, is tested in times of crisis. Isn't that so? And so now the, the background there is that 
God had delivered his people from Egyptian slavery and they were en route to the promised land and they were at the foot of, of Mount Sinai. And um, Moses was long in delaying. Uh, it was long in coming. He had delayed. Isn't that so? And they, they thought that Moses had died. Hello, y'all. And they, they, uh, can, can I just, uh, just uh, branch off a bit and say that, that Moses was a type of Jesus? Am I making sense? Yes, yes. And just as Moses, uh, Moses, as it were, was used uh, to lead God's people out of the promised land. Uh, Jesus, uh, uh, just as uh, uh, Moses was used by God to lead his people from Egypt to the promised land. Let me correct that. Similarly, out of Egyptian bondage, Jesus. Uh, Oh, uh, wants to lead us uh, from the Egypt of this world, uh, from the Egypt of uh, uh, materialism, uh, uh, from the, uh, the, the, the Egypt of what this world has to offer. And he's saying a better world is about to come. And just as Moses uh, 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 was long coming, they, the Bible predicts that it's going to be a delay in the second coming of Jesus. Oh, Lord, have mercy. But that's not a message for tonight. Uh-huh. And so now, so Moses, uh, so the people had built the, 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 this calf. Uh, Aaron had built this calf and, and, uh, and, and uh, gave this flimsy excuse that he took the goal, threw the goal in the fire, and out jumped a calf. Lord, have mercy. Magic. Uh-huh. A set of Nancy story. And then of course God was displeased. It's not so. That they had soon forgotten. Uh, who had led them. And so Moses now is appealing to God. And, and uh, isn't it true that just as Moses interceded on behalf of Israel. Jesus is our intercessor. Uh, we have a high priest in the heavenly sanctuary. Who intercedes on our behalf. His name is Jesus. Amen. Somebody sing amen. amen. And he said I beseech thee show me thy. Uh, so what, what does Moses say? Uh, Moses says in this time of crisis. I, I need to be assured that you are still. Uh, who you said you will be. I want to I wanna know that you have not changed. So show me your glory. That is Exodus 33, 18. And verse 13 says what? Everybody's reading. Now therefore, I pray thee if I have found grace in thy sight. Show me now thy way that I may know thee that I may find grace in thy sight. Isn't that, uh, uh, that's, that's, as we read the Bible, that should be the sentiment of our hearts. Isn't that so? Ah, uh, show me now thy way. It's not so. Oh, and the Lord says, uh, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will do what? I will guide thee with mine eyes. Uh, and what is it? What's the purpose of the scriptures? Is that we should what? That we should know not just about him, but that we should know him. It's not so, my brothers and sisters. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The Lord speaks now. The Lord speaks. Everybody's you're reading. Two, three. And the Lord descended in the cloud. Somebody sing amen. Oh, the, he's a God uh, who doesn't simply sit on his throne, but in times of crisis, he comes. He, he descends. Uh, it's not so. Oh, in the cloud and stood, uh, uh, stood with him there. <laughs> and stood with him there. Hello, y'all. Uh, can somebody say that uh, when I had my, my health challenges, he was with me there? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, when my child misbehaved and uh, found himself in uh, legal difficulties, he was with me there. Yeah, yes, ah, when, uh, when things were turbulent in my marriage, uh, he was with me there. So that's the God we serve. Somebody say amen. 
Oh, hallelujah. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by. Verse 36. Everybody's reading. Do they? And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord. The Lord God. The devil would have us understand that God is an exacting judge. The devil would have us understand that God is a killjoy. I was still there. Uh, the Lord will have us understand that God, the devil will have us believe, have this, 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 this twisted notion as, as to who God is. But the Bible says that you read the word of the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, uh, the Lord, uh, meaning that he is in charge of the Lord, meaning that he owns everything. You didn't hear what I'm saying? Ah, uh, the Lord, meaning that uh, he's in control. Someone is saying amen. Hallelujah. The Lord merciful. You didn't hear me? The Lord merciful and gracious. Uh, the Lord long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Uh, that's the God we serve. A merciful God. As a father pities his children. So the Lord pities those uh, who love him. Am I making sense? Ah, the Lord is gracious. It's not so. Ah, that which we have is not because we deserve it. We don't deserve to be here tonight. We are here tonight because God is gracious. Somebody sing amen. Uh, he gives us uh, what we do not deserve. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, praise God. Keeping mercy for thousands and forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. Uh, that's the God, the God we serve. But let me tell you something. God, even though he forgives, God does not countenance sin. Am I talking true? Uh, and that will by no means clear the guilty. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers under the children, on the, on, upon the children's children, unto the third and to the fourth generation. That's the God we serve. Somebody sing amen. A God who is merciful, a God who is gracious, a God who is compassionate. Uh, first John 4 8. God is love. That's what the word of the Lord will have us understand. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we go along tonight, I want to let you know that, uh, that when God speaks, things happen. Uh, you didn't hear what I'm saying? Yes, I'm saying things happen. You remember the, the message for tonight is uh, when God speaks. Uh, he hello? So he speaks through nature. Huh? But that's limited. Am I talking to you? But then he speaks through his son and he speaks through the word. Am I making sense? And the one who speaks even though he's all powerful. The one who speaks even though he's all knowing. The one who speaks, uh, even though he's omnipresent, he is tender. He is compassionate. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. <coughs> he is love. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so now, when he speaks, things happen. Yes, you didn't hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying that when he speaks, things happen. As a matter of fact, Psalm 33, 6 to, uh, six to 9, what does the Bible say? Oh... Yes, so I'm pressing the wrong place. Oh, yes. Let's read. Let's go. Everybody's reading. Two, three. By the, by the, the word of the Lord, what heaven's made and all the hosts of them by the, by the breath of his mouth. Uh, he gathered uh, the waters of the sea together as a heap. He laid up the depth in storehouses. Hallelujah. Uh, let all the earth do what? Let all the earth fear him. Let all the earth reverence him. Ah, and let all the earth love him. Ah, yes, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For help me please. For he what? For he spake and it was done. He did what? He commanded and it stood fast. I'm saying to you tonight, my brothers and sisters, when God speaks, things happen. Am I making sense? And, uh, and uh, the, the same God uh, who called uh, something out of nothing. The same God who called light out of darkness is the same God 
can create something out of the nothingness of our lives. Yeah. Am I making sense? When things are falling apart and the doctors say uh, uh, Dr. Castillo uh, is nothing personal, but when Dr. Castillo and, and, and Dr. Shane, uh, because of their, from a human perspective, say to us that that is it, I'm saying to you that uh, there's still the creator God who can speak, who can speak things into existence. Yeah. Am I making sense, my brothers and sisters? Ah, who can speak peace into chaos in our families? Uh, when Jesus speaks, things happen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying that when God speaks, we are cleansed. Amen. Somebody saying amen. Yes. Through the word, we are cleansed. Amen. Through the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, can we go back there? Can we go back to Moses? As far as Egypt was concerned, he was on death row. Am I making sense, my brothers and sisters? Yeah. But the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to do what? And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So he cleans us. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by do what? By taking heed there. To according to thy word. I'm saying to you, my parents, yes, it is good for the for our children to to be paying attention to their math and uh, their English and their geography books, but the best book that they uh, should embrace is the word of our Lord. Uh, somebody sing amen. The word of the Lord will cleanse their ways. Let them know that it is not Eve and Evelyn, uh, but it is Adam and Eve. Am I making sense? Oh, hallelujah. The, the word of the Lord will, will cleanse their ways. Am I making sense? Uh, the, the word of the Lord uh, will have them understand that honesty is still the best policy. Ah, the word of the Lord. I'm saying to you that the, the, uh, the, that foolishness that was on social media just this week with those two uh, young men engaging in appropriate behavior. What they needed, what they need is the word of the Lord. Amen. Somebody saying amen. The word amen. cleanses. Amen. amen. You know what? The, the word cleanses. The, the word changes the mindset. Yeah. Am I talking to you, my yeah. brothers and sisters? Uh, the, 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 the word says that yes you are born so uh, but the word says that you can be born again ah, uh, if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away and all things are become new somebody sing amen uh, so the word when God speaks things happen the word develops faith you didn't hear what I'm saying it is through the word that faith is developed. What does Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 say? What does Romans 10 17 say? Let's go. Two, three. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the, by the word of the Lord. Praise God. Second Corinthians 4 18 says, while we look not at the things everybody's reading. Two, three. While we. Uh-huh. Uh, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are, uh, the things which are seen are temporal. temporal. The car, temporal. The house, temporal. temporal. Am I making sense, my brothers and sisters? Uh, the things that are around us, they are temporal. Uh, but what does it say? But the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Somebody saying amen. So while we live uh, in the now, we are not settling for the now, but we are preparing for the then. Somebody saying amen. We are preparing for the eternal. Hallelujah. And so I'm saying also, my brothers and sisters, the word gives guidance. You didn't hear me. The word gives what? Guidance. The Lord says, I'll instruct thee. And teach thee in the way thou shalt go. I'll guide thee with mine eyes. And uh, in this time of darkness. The word of the Lord says. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. 
and a light unto my path. Someone is saying amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So as God speaks through the word, things happen. It's not so. He creates something out of nothing. He cleanses. Am I talking to you, my brothers and sisters? Ah, through the word of God, our confidence is not in man. Ah, our confidence is in Jesus. It's not so. And so the word says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Oh hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so the, the word of the Lord presents hope. You didn't hear what I'm saying. I'm saying that God's word gives hope. Amen. Amen. Oh, and uh, so uh, R R Romans 15, 4 says, let's read together, 2, 3. For whatsoever things were written in the full time, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might, might have what? Uh, might have hope. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, the, 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 the outcome, the economic outcome for our country based on what was told to us with a budget, uh, is very daunting. Am I talking truth? But as we read the word, we have hope. You didn't hear what I'm saying? Well, I once was young, but now I'm old, but I've never seen him. The righteous forsaken nor seed begging bread. The word presents hope. Am I making sense? Ah, the word says, but my God shall supply. Uh, Philippians 4, 19. Uh, uh, my, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. The word of God. Uh, speaks not just of our today but the word of the Lord speaks of our tomorrow and like the songwriter we can say uh, uh, because he lives I can face tomorrow no matter how challenging tomorrow gets uh, I can face tomorrow I'm saying my, my brothers and sisters the word presents hope hope for our physical security and safety the word presents hope the word says uh, that he shall give his angels uh, Psalm 91 11 he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways the Lord the word presents hope Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so the Bible, it has been said, uh, truly said that this book reveals the what? This book reveals the mind of God. The state of man, we are lost. It's not so. But thank God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It prevents, uh, presents the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, and the happiness of believers. The word of God. Its doctrines are what? Holy. Holy. Its precepts are what? Binding. Uh, uh, its histories are what? True. Are true. Its decisions are what? <laughs> Immutable or unchangeable. So we must do what? We must. But a question. We must do what? We must read it. To be wise, believe it to be safe, and practice it to be holy. Someone is saying, Amen. It contains what? Light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to do what? To cheer you. Hallelujah. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the, the, the pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, and the Christian charter. It tells us how to live. In the word of the Lord, paradise is what? Restored heaven open and the gates of hell are disclosed. Someone is saying amen. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But more importantly, my brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord transforms us. Amen. You didn't hear what I'm saying? Yes. As we, you see, by beholding Jesus in the word, we 
are changed. Am I making sense tonight? Hallelujah. What does the Bible say? But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. Hello. We are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord. Somebody sing amen. The word of the Lord says that Jesus is promised, but he's coming soon. Am I talking truth? And so he says, let not your heart be troubled. Let's go back there. I, I don't know what happened just now. Yes, I don't know what happened there. Yes. John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God. Let's go back to the screen, please. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll do what? I will come again and receive you unto myself. But where I am, there he may be also. I am thankful tonight, my brothers and sisters, that amidst the uh, confusion, amidst the, the warmongering of the, the leaders of the world, amidst the despondency, uh, amidst the darkness, God speaks. Am I making sense? Oh, praise the name of the Lord. And as he speaks, he says in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Someone is saying amen. And so he wants to change our lives. He wants to make something beautiful out of our lives. Amen. Aren't you thankful for the word tonight? Yes, just Amen, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And no matter what situation you are in, the word speaks. Yes. God speaks. Amen. And as he speaks, he speaks personally. Yes. Am I making sense? Yes. Uh, he knows you by name. Am I talking truth? Uh, he knows you by name. He knows the very, uh, he, he's numbered the very hairs on your head. Amen. So like guys like Brother Mitchell and myself, he doesn't have a, a, a lot of problems at all because there's less numbering here to do. Are uh, we still there? He, this is a personal God. Am I making sense? My, uh, he is the one who is at our there. Whatever it is. It's not so. He is our present help in time of trouble. He is our refuge and strength. He is our rock in the weary land. Are we still? He is our shelter in the time of storm. He is, uh, uh, he is uh, the rose of Sharon. He is amidst the impurity. He is the lily of the valley. In our darkness, he is the bright and morning star. I'm saying to you, uh, he is the, uh, in your trouble. He is the enemy comes after you. The word of the Lord says that he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Uh, when we are broken and messed up, uh, when we are sinking deep in sin, uh, he uh, is uh, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Uh, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And he wants to transform your life tonight. Somebody saying amen? amen. Oh, he wants to do something wonderful and powerful in your life tonight. And so we say, give me the Bible. Hallelujah. Give me the Bible. Are you saying tonight, dear Jesus, I want to thank you that you spoke in the past. But thank you that you are speaking tonight in the present. Amen. Thank you, dear Lord, that you have spoken to others, but thank you tonight that you are speaking to me. 
Amen. And whereas the Bible is the, in the Bible, Jesus is the prime focus, the main object uh, in the scriptures is the cross. Yes. And the cross tells us that he loves us amen. with an everlasting love. Somebody amen. sing amen. Uh, the, 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 the cross tells us that God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. Oh, hallelujah. The, the word presents hope in a time of hopelessness. I uh, hope he says that I will never leave you and nor forsake you. I will, I will be there for you and I will be there with you. I'll be in your, with you and you're going out and I'll be there in your coming in. I'm going to prepare a place for you and I am coming to receive you. You're saying, Lord, change me, transform me to your word. Is that what you're saying tonight? Yes, you're saying, Lord, guide me through your word. Is what you're saying tonight? Are you saying tonight, cleanse me through your word? That's what you're saying tonight. Uh, you're saying, Lord, uh, create in me a clean heart. Because he's created. That's not so. Uh, create something great and wonderful in my life tonight. That's what you're saying tonight. Oh, hallelujah. We bless you. Pastor Lowe, just come and and offer the closing prayer. Can you just stand to your feet as we as we close? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen.